Good afternoon, Nightlife Nation. It's Nick here of Nightlife Kennel. Uh, hope y'all are having a great day. Hope y'all had a great Christmas with your family and your friends. It is December 28th. I am headed down to South Carolina to meet up with my buddy Tommy Lanning. Uh, as I mentioned in the video before about the big announcement, I have decided to go ahead and start with a fresh pup and train. Um, the goal with this is I have not had a good female dog in a long time. I tried training a few pups, uh, females, it didn't work out for various reasons. Uh, one factor was that I was new to the whole training game, so I made a lot of mistakes myself. Anyhow, all in the past, we're going to try to do better this time. I know a little bit more than I used to. I uh, still got a long ways to go, though. So, the um, reason why I picked this litter that Tommy Lang has is it goes back to the same bloodlines as Jug. Jug's 13 years old, and that bloodline has long since been dead. And um, I'm going to roll a dice with it. I'm going to try to get a female off of this and uh, see if we can make her a coon dog. And I'm going to video it the whole time and let you guys see some of my training and see how she turns out too so it's gonna be a long process investment in the future and uh, hopefully be bringing you guys years worth of videos off of this um so anyway heading down here now i'm gonna be picking her out pick which one i want but i am not picking her up today she's only five weeks old and the reason why is I like for them to stay till they're eight weeks old because I just prefer that. But also, the first two weekends in January, I am not going to be in town. Um, got a couple things I'm going to do, uh, a couple of little announcements for you guys. The first weekend in January, I will be at the Grand American Coon Hunt in Orangeburg, South Carolina. I'm not a competition hunter, so I will not be hunting in it, but I will be at the sport dog booth with my buddy Kim Bishop. He runs the booth for sport dog and I help him out from time to time. So I'll be by there. So if you're a member of the Nightlife Nation, you watch my videos, you like my content, and you're at the Grand American, please, please come by the sport dog brand booth. Say hello, shake my hand. I want to meet you. I want to know what you think of my videos. And uh, if you guys enjoy them, so you can chit chat a little bit while. And uh, you can sit with us, talk to us. We'll talk coon hunting a little bit, and I can meet you guys because I really appreciate everybody that joins on and watches these videos. Uh, second weekend of January, I'm actually, hopefully, cross your fingers, um, it could fall through, but as of right now, we are heading back to Land Between the Lakes in Kentucky. Um, should be me and Patrick and Kim heading there. Uh, maybe some other people, I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're going to head up there. We're going to get us about three good nights of coon hunting in, hopefully. Get you guys some more coon hunting footage of North Carolina boys heading to Kentucky, trying to keep, keep up with you Kentucky coon hunters. So I know you guys have got some great dogs up there, some good coon hunters, and you got a lot of good coon hunting land. So we're just one little piece of your pie. But uh, go ahead up there, second week of January. Then when I get back, third weekend of January, somewhere after the 15th, I will be heading back down to Tommy's to pick up the female. Reason why I'm gonna make this video also is between now and when I pick her up middle of January, I want you guys to suggest names for this female. I've got a pretty good idea of a name for her. Um, I like to call her Nightlife Nix, and not N-I-C-K-S as in myself, but N-Y-X. And in Greek, the word Nix means princess of the night. So it'd be Nightlife Nix. Um, that's what I'm leaning towards. But I want you guys to leave suggestions of names yourself. My only criteria is I want it to be one syllable, um, like Hyde and Jug, Nix, uh, stuff like that. I don't really like to be saying Hannah or Jolene or anything like that when I'm in the woods. I just like one syllable name, just kind of my thing. So if you got any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. That way, uh, between now and then, when I pick out the dog, if I see a name I like better than the one I got picked out, maybe the one I go with. So then you can say you name my dog for me. But I appreciate you guys tuning in. Heading down here to South Carolina to see Tommy now. I'll let y'all skip the long ride down here. And I'll uh, when we get there, we'll do the interview and you can get to see some pups. So a lot of fun. Appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Hey guys, Nick here, Nightlife Kennel. Got my buddy Tommy Landing here. We're down in Belton, South Carolina. He's the one I'm buying this pup off of. So uh, we'll let you him tell you about the bloodlines and the uh, his female that uh, had these pups. My female uh, name's Roxy. She's out of uh, Kentucky River Rowdy. Um, Rowdy. Uh, it's probably been dead, I don't know, a good 20 years or so. She was a semen pup. Um, Doug Bowers and Cleo Bowers uh, had the pups. 
and I was able to get one about five years ago. Um, Roxy's been a nice hound for me. She's currently got a second place win. I'm gonna make her a night champion at these pups for or weaned off of her. Um, I quit hunting her about a year ago because I was pushing a young male that got ran over. Um, so now I'm going to start hunting her again and try to get her finished out. But uh, the, the her sire, Kentucky River Rowdy, was probably one of the best dual purpose hounds that's ever been across the country. He won the NKC World Hunt and the World Show one year. It was high scoring dog both nights and then won the show the next day with 300 plus dogs back in, I think it was 1989 or 88. But um, so then Doug and them also had another straw semen off of Rowdy that they bought a uh, Houses Lipper female off of. She was directly off of semen off of Lipper. And um, they took the Rowdy semen and bred it to the Lipper semen female, which produced Texas. So, um, you know, then they took Texas and we bred her to Roxy. And now you're looking at having 20 to 30 year old bloodlines back to life um, in these puppies. So um, you got Gold Creek Mondo, Spring Creek Radar, Houses Lipper um, and Kentucky River Rowdy. A lot of people don't realize it, but the Buck Creek Drum bu uh, bloodline actually originated with Kentucky River Rock, who is Kentucky River Rowdy's daddy. So uh, a lot of you Buck Creek guys, if y'all love Buck Creek uh, Drum bloodlines, you can't you can't get any closer to what I got here today. So we're gonna get a pup off of him. I'm gonna try a female. It's been a while since I had a female, and uh, I'll of course make videos as we go along, train her up, and hopefully within a year or so we'll have her start on coon and uh, we'll hunt some with Tommy so I'm gonna put a couple of pictures of the ones I'm looking at and then uh, you guys comment below which one you think I should go with I got a pretty good idea which one I want and of course I said on my video the other day if you got suggestions for names I've got a name that I'm thinking of but I'm open to them so y'all leave any of your comments and uh, you got a few more left for sale right now I got uh, at least three males possibly all the females are sold she had uh, 11 pups total I lost one, and uh, I got six males, four females. All the females are gone, and I may have three three males left is what it looks like I'm going to have left. Okay. Today's the 28th of December. I'm going to have this video up within a day or two, and if you're interested in one of these pups, I've got a picture I'm going to put up of all of them. Uh, message me or leave it in the comments, and I'll get you in touch with Tommy, and you can talk to him about them. So, Tommy, I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. He whispers, Pearl, please run me one more rain. Sing your song for me Throw your sweet voice to the wind That music makes me shiver to the bone When I hear the holler ringing I know you're singing just for me And it's then I don't feel so all alone don't feel so odd.